I'm going to right, go ahead and get started. Just run through a quick <coughs> little intro real quick. Please don't start coughing now. But, um... Hi, how are y'all doing? Uh, I know it's been a little bit. It's been about a week since I last streamed. Uh, apologies for that. Um, but tonight, we are going to do some Witcher. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy. Um, as the stream title goes, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of Monster Lore as we go through it a little bit. Just kind of reading a, a little bit more. And uh, just kind of talking about monsters and stuff in general. It's kind of been in my... Uh, it's kind of been... Uh, it's kind of been the... Uh, the overarching theme lately for me, uh, because I'm starting to get back into my story writing, uh, um, but I'm going to be switching off to a different, um, a different thing. Hey, Monroe, what's up, man? But yeah, um, why is... Stop. I don't know who's calling me, but stop calling me. Better not be my mother calling me from different ink from different numbers. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, we're um, we'll be doing some monster talk tonight a little bit uh, with the lore from the games uh, and stuff like that, and just kind of in general. So uh, if you guys have any uh, any monster stories that you like, uh, feel free to uh, pop them in chat, and um, we'll kind of get some we'll get some chats going. Like I said there's going to be uh, there's going to be some store there's going to be some stories that I'm going to be coming up with with some I'm going to be taking some of the some of the monster some of the some of the monsters that you'll get to see and um in the Witcher and I'm also going to be doing other ones from different uh from different regions uh just doing uh, my own version of some of the uh the different types of creatures and spirits and entities that are in um uh, that are out there in the world. I, I, I love that kind of stuff. I very much have been in, that, in tune with that for a very long time. Ever since I was a little kid, you know, I loved mummies, I loved vampires, I loved werewolves. Uh, but you know, you have all the other stuff that's out there. You know, you got uh, the Wendigos, like from uh, Until Dawn. Um, you have, uh, you know, the Onryo demons from like The Grudge and The Ring. You have uh, all different types of things from different parts of the world. And the Witcher has a good bit of a lot of these different ones, but then various different versions that they've changed for the for the games. But um, it's something that I've really gotten into, and so I'm going to be slowly kind of getting my stories uh, right right around for that. Uh, my first one that I'm going to do, I'm going to base it off basically the Kikimura, which if anybody who's watched the Witcher show is the spider monster that you see in the opening credits of the first season. Um, but that is actually, that is, that was specifically the design and the concept for the Witcher games. The actual one, for anybody who does know, uh, well, I mean, there's several different versions. Uh, uh, it's mostly, uh, a Slavic, uh, folklore, um, but it has a lot of different versions to it, and there's, you know, some from Russia, there's from, from, uh, the Slavic regions, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of different ones out there. So I'm going to be kind of doing a little bit of uh, a few different ones. Uh, I don't know in what way I will have them out whenever they are done. I still have to figure that out. Uh, how I'm going to put those out there. Um, I might. Uh, I don't know. I'll, ha I'll have to kind of bounce off some ideas off my best friend who kind of does some of the uh some of these kinds of things he knows uh, a lot of the ins and outs and what way i can probably put them out because i don't want to just write them and then just not show them off um uh, but yeah we'll get to that um as we go along but yeah i hope y'all are having a good night and welcome in anybody who's new feel free to follow the channel i do a lot of story based games here uh i will try and vary it up with some variety a little bit as far like right now, we're doing The Witcher and Assassin's Creed uh, as our main ones. I might sprinkle in some other stuff that I'm not quite sure yet. Um, maybe occasionally, maybe a multiplayer game, maybe a shooter. But a shooter that might have some story relevance to it. We'll see. Maybe like the... Uh, hey, Dilla. Maybe like uh, the Call of Duty games uh, for the story mode. I don't know. Something. Just something that kind of varied up and changed up the... Uh, the flow every once in a blue moon, but I'll see. I, I, 
but I mostly just uh, primarily focus on story-based games. Uh, but, you know, basically we'll be doing a lot of horror this month as well. Uh, Halloween Ends comes out tomorrow. I'm going to wait a few days until that comes out before I go see it. The review embargo is up for it, and I'm already seeing a couple of people... Uh, well, I've already... I think IGN posted about it earlier. There's a YouTube channel that I follow that ha where the guy covers a lot of different... He's very much a horror fanatic. Uh, and I watched his spoiler-free review earlier. And the general synopsis, of Kong, along with a couple of the posts I saw on Twitter, is that this movie will probably piss people off. In some, very, in some various form or another. But then again, what horror movie doesn't piss people off in these days, honestly, at the end of the day? Um, I still need to watch the second season of uh, Chucky as well, too. I forgot that that's a thing. But, uh, actually, let me... But yeah, <clears throat> alright, now hopefully um, I won't have a ton of people, my mother has apparently been trying to call me for whatever reason, and of course she always wants to call late, I'm not answering the phone, I'm already streaming, leave me alone mom, don't want to talk. So, I'm going to get the game started, uh, you guys feel free to hang out and chat, if there's any stories, that or if there's any monsters, any folklore, any legends, from anywhere where you guys are at, please feel free to share them because I would love to hear about them. I'm very, I'm very much more interested in stuff that's outside of the uh, the U.S. Hungry. No worries, Dill. How, how are you feeling, by the way? Are you are you are you getting along a little better or about the same? Emperor. Gonna skip that opening cutscene for the thousandth time. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Actually, no, she sent herself on her way. He didn't send her. He wanted her to stay. But yeah, the, we got a, a, a good bit of recap from the last stream when we had... Uh, we found out um, that uh, Ciri had gotten tangled up in some fights and... The Baron took her in, healed her. They had a fight with a, um... They had a fight with a Chimera. She saved him, and... Well, she also won, won a race from him and got his prized horse. So, she, uh, after that, she basically said, you know, I, I'm very appreciative that you, that you helped me out. You nursed me, you fed me, um, but... My presence here is going to put you and everybody else in danger. And so she decided to leave because the wild hunt is still after her. And she did not want anybody else to get hurt. Especially the little girl that she helped. Uh, in one of the earlier streams, she found a little girl uh, in the woods. I think her dad abandoned her in the woods in the hopes that some monsters would eat her. Uh, because either they couldn't, they couldn't afford to keep her around or something. I have no idea. It's pretty fucked up, by the way. Uh, apologies to I might be a little burpy. Um, I just ate pizza a little while ago. <laughs> I'm full, very full. Um, I ate a DiGiorno stuffed crust, uh, meat lovers. I was a little hungry and had a little bit of a food headache, so <clears throat> I kind of ate a little fast and a little heavy. So, but yeah, ap apologies for that. So, all right. Um, we also last time met. Um, the Witches of Crookback Bog. Uh, the game, unfortunately, kind of glitched, and we did, and we missed out on a lot of the audio. But, um... We took on a quest, and, um... The old, the old lady who was watching the kids in this, uh... Basically, it's like an orphanage in the swamp. And... The, the witches spoke through her, said you need to get, take this dagger and go do this job, and when you come back, you know, we'll, you know, do whatever. Uh, well, come to find out that 
the job that we were sent on was apparently to take out this entity that supposedly um, was supposed to be dead, but apparently it was like basically like the... I don't know exactly what it was. Um, I don't know if it's in the bestiary. Um, probably not. Uh, but yeah, these are the crones. Um, very net, very ugh looking too. But um, yeah, they um, they basically had uh, those were the ones that had taken the Baron's wife, and come to find out that the old crazy granny that was out there was the Baron's wife, and she had basically entered into a blood pact with them to basically uh she you know would stay with them they would keep her protected so that he couldn't go back and uh, and reclaim her and bring her back and probably beat on her and stuff like that uh basically so um but then when we confronted them about it they t they all took off so, but now the Baron wants to go and reclaim his wife and wants to bring his, his guards and everything over there. So we're just like, so that's going to be a later quest for something like, well, let's see what's going to happen here. So, uh, the sister crones hand in hand, terrors of the sea and land, thus do go about, about thrice to thrine and thrice to mine and wait, what? Uh, the isolated corners of our world harbor creatures older than humans, older than ac academies and mages. Older even than elves and dwarves. The crones of Black of Crookback Bog are such creatures. No one knows their true names nor what breed of monstrosity they are they in fact are. Common folk have given these three sisters the Weavis, the Bruis, and the Wispus, and call the three some the ladies of the wood are simply the good ladies. These kind of remind me of like the fates or the furies from like Greek mythology a little bit. Uh, I kind of get that same kind of vibe. Because you got, got, got one you got one obese one, and you got one that's kind of like blind and something else. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, so let's see. Uh, the crones act as true sovereigns of Velen, whose inhabitants they help survive through harsh times and return for unquestioning obedience. They wield powerful magic, but one different from that of mages. They draw power from water and earth and are bound to the land in which they live. The crones can hear everything that happens in their woods, predict the future, twist the threads of human lives, and bring blessings as well. Yeah, it kind of feels similar to the fates a little bit. Just in a different sense. Feeling a little bit, but still super sick. I've not gone to the doctors yet. Okay, well, um... I'm glad that you're feeling a little bit better, but definitely, uh, I hope you you are able to go uh, get uh, get looked at at some point soon. Um, but I am glad you're feeling better, and I hope and I'm glad you came by. Um, but yeah, if you are going to sleep soon, Della, I'll get you some get you plenty of rest. Hopefully, you won't be woke up in the middle of the night like I was by the damn thunder that was right over my house. That was a uh, that was fun at five o'clock in the morning when I was just starting to kind of finally get to sleep. I didn't sleep hardly at all during the night, so right about the time naturally, and I heard just this loud clash that sounded like it was literally right outside my house and startled the shit out of me. And so I was just laid up in bed, just wide awake, like I had just gotten a coffee uh, coffee syringe in my back. So that was fun. All right, so what do we start on first? We know this series going to Novigrad, so but we need levels before we get to that part because there's a lot of stuff out here. Um, there's a lot of there's this map is actually pretty expansive. So, uh, so let's see what we got out here that we can play with. Uh, there's no Witcher contracts that are within our levels except for. This one, the a mysterious fog that killed all who ventured in it had arisen in the village of Down Warren, inconveniently close to where Pete was being dug. Okay, so let's, all right, so let's give this one a shot. Okay, so this one looks like it's going to be a nice little jog. Uh, wait, where am I? 
Oh, there it is. There's that cursor down. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, all right. So it's right back to Crookback. Okay. So that's not bad. So we can actually fast travel that way. So that's good. Um, so we'll swing by this way. So that, that'll be kind of, uh, so that's interesting. Like I said, this place, um, apparently you can't find it on your own. Like, you can't just wander around out here and see. You have to follow a specific trail using your Witcher senses, which is basically you follow the, um, it's basically cut off ears. That's the payment that the witches ask for and payment for their services. Uh, whenever we finished the job that we were on, uh, the guy took this, this, like, ceremonial dagger and cut his ear off. And gave it to the witches and was like, here, here you go. And they also have them tied around their necks. like uh, Kind of like how you see uh, Daryl in The Walking Dead. Earlier on in the show, he had, uh, I think it was maybe like the first season. He had uh, the zombie ears uh, and a, a, around his neck on a, on a string or something like that, if I remember right. But it was a very weird mission that they sent us on, uh, where they, there was this entity that was supposedly opposed to the crones, and they killed him, but apparently they he didn't stay dead. He kind of revived as, like, this plant root kind of thing. And so he basically was like, we could help him or kill it. And he was like, you know, why should we help you? He was like, well, the kids that are... That's it. The kids that are out there are, you know, in danger. Oh, nice. We mind control that one. Ow, sir. Thank you. <coughs> and so I decided to go. He's like, you know what? We'll we'll go ahead and save him. And, uh, we had to do this little ceremony where basically he, tra he transferred his, uh, his soul or spirit essence, whatever, into the body of a horse. For whatever reason, he chose to want a horse as his vessel. Okay, live free, ride hard, I guess. You know, uh, far be it for me to tell you how you live your life. And so when we got back, he had apparently had went back and rescued the kids. Now, what happened to happens to the kids? We may see that in another future um, quest down the line. So I'm actually really curious to see if that is going to be a continuing quest later down the road. Get a little sword play in here early so we can kind of warm our fingers up. Nice, we are in top form so far. These drowners don't stand a fucking chance. But yeah, I would actually really like to start. Uh, I won't, obviously, when I do my stories, I won't like base every. I won't do every single monster that's in The Witcher because there's a lot and there's probably way more out there. But I'm going to be picking certain ones that I think I can. I can put into a good, nice little horror story. So, um, but uh, what kind of what kind of horror do you guys like? Uh, if you're into horror, do you perform? Do you like more classic monster horror? Do you like supernatural? Do you like psycho psychological horror? Um, now, I'm very interested in that because I want to kind of dabble into a different, a few different ones. I have uh, one story that I did, which is kind of like a murder mystery slash thriller slash. It's not really horror, but it's a, you know it kind of fall it kind of falls into that. But it deals with uh, some as it deals with an aspect of mental illness, and uh, that's actually something that I'm really really proud of. And it was my first one, and so I wanna uh, and so after a while I've been kind of off and on with my story writing for a while. Uh, I've written uh, a couple other ones. One's kind of like a superhero power uh, fantasy type story. That was just something that I just did, you know, um, from an idea that I had. 
Um, I have another story that's on the shelf for the time being. Uh, it's basically kind of a romance relationship story. That's also kind of dealing with some aspects of myself kind of intertwined with the character and stuff like that. Um, and then I have a Resident Evil fan fiction as well that I'm also working on that's going to take quite a long time because I want it to be a full-blown story, not just a short story. Most Careful, of these will be sir. short stories. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. Well, I mean, there's monsters all over in here, so you're going to be have to be specific. This monster, tell me more. I've only seen it once myself, and that from afar and past dusk. Thought so you can see it. At first, then it turned. And I saw eyes burning like coals and a jaw full of fangs, one next to the other. Humanoid? Nocturnal? Hmm. First attack. Remember when it happened? A week passed. You're about. It was then Boren vanished. Merrick and Tommil went looking for him, didn't come back either, them two. I were feared. Now none dare venture into the bog. Camp stands deserted, and the peat there. Master, it's the best sort. Black as pitch and oily. Good for fuel and... Fascinating, but staying with the topic at hand. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. Aye, twere me. Good to know someone reads them. Paid a scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. I can help. For a fee. Course! Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. Alright, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here. But beware. Bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard you could choke. I mean, what swamp doesn't have that, honestly? There's always noxious, gassy fumes in a swamp. I mean, let's, <laughs> let's be real. No swamp smells like flowers. And if it does, that's a lie to trap you. Like, you look back at the swamp in The Witcher 1 where it was just like, just nasty. No ordinary fog, this. The odor. Metallic almost. Hmm. <coughs> okay, so steer clear of the fog. Or as much as we possibly can. But it looks like it's everywhere. <coughs> See if we is there a way we can kind of kite around it a little bit? <laughs> I'll take the loot, thank you very much. Didn't even have time to pull out his weapon. Monster must have been concealed. Surprised him. Take the water. Thank you very much. I need more. Uh, I need more heals. All right. So, let's see. Curious where drown if drowners are actually a thing in. Someone placed an illusion here. Ah, nice. Tracks masked with magic. This is getting interesting. Okay, uh, I guess we follow the tracks now. Different claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion. 
a f Ignis Fatuous. <coughs> See, now, this kind of reminds me of, for anybody who's ever played uh, an old vampire series, The Legacy of Cain. Uh, there's a particular section of the world that has a swamp. Uh, very poisonous. Uh, noxious gases, the whole kind of thing. Ignis fatuous is also um, something that's a phrase that's used in that game. Um, where it's kind of like, uh, like these ethereal fires that kind of light the way to hell. Uh, but it's interesting in that, in that series because... Uh, Swamps being mostly water and stuff. Vampires in that series are vulnerable to water. Normal water. Burns like acid. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting thing. But it al it's also very poisonous. So it keeps humans away. But it also prevents like neighboring uh, vampires from trying to infiltrate and take over the area. So that's kind of what this whole place gives me a kind of a vibe for. You know, monsters hiding in swamps behind illusions and stuff like that. That kind of is actually kind of a cool idea. <coughs> Oof! Rip that horse, though. Okay, let me get out of here because I'm losing air. <laughs> kind of, all right. Get my air breath back here. Let's see. <laughs> but. Uh, is anybody looking forward to the new Halloween, or have you? Are you guys watching any new horror movies? Um, my best friend recently said he uh, went and saw he uh, he saw Smile, and um, he gave me his feedback on it. He said he really enjoyed. Uh, uh, what was that other movie? Uh, the Mask, Black Mask, no, or yeah, whatever movie that was. Uh, with the mask, um, that was that. I was actually really curious about that one. I might watch that one day. I'm gonna be doing a lot of horror watching. Might even actually go back because uh, I noticed Peacock has like the old classic monster movies from like the ones I used to watch back when I was a kid. Uh, the old black and white movies, um, like the the Mummy and uh, Dracula and shit like that. I was actually looking to see if they had Creature from the Black Lagoon, but apparently they only have the sequel. And I actually forgot that, that made, they made a sequel on that back in the day. Navigate the illusions to find the fog lights. Okay. But I'm still going to go watch Halloween uh, ends um, at some point pretty soon. Um, though I'll wait after opening weekend. I don't typically like to go to movies anyway um, on opening night anymore. Um, I just prefer to have a, mu a much more quiet theater when I go in there. I don't like... I don't want... Because there's been times I remember going to see movies on opening night and it being so cramped and I'm in my chair like this and it's just I'm not comfortable and it's just like the one of the last times that I was in there um or not one of the last times it's been it's been quite a few years but it was um one of the Resident Evil movies um I don't remember which one it was uh it might have been like part four or something like that of the uh the Paul Anderson ones and um uh, I was so uncomfortable because my something here. 
Where's that artifact Kira gave me? There's something here. Need to use the eye. <coughs> and these two uh, fairly large people sat on either side of me. So I was literally like this my entire time. And I couldn't get out of my chair. And I was just like, I am never doing this again. It was actually one time, uh, there was actually no seating left in there. So I actually sat on the stairs leading uh, up to like the higher level um, ones. I actually sat on the stairs because there was no seats left. I don't remember what movie that was either. And I was just like, yeah, I'm going to be definitely waiting um, to go w watch any movies if this is the kind of experiences that I'm going to keep having. Uh, I mean, I, if it's full, that's one thing. But when it's, like, uncomfortable and it's like, nah, I'm... Okay, there's a foglet right here. Oh, and we're going to cutscene. Damn, he's all ripped open. Uh, let's see. He's got some reach to him as well. Okay, you can do illusions. Okay, so we got after, we basically got after image techniques. This guy's got Dragon Ball abilities. Oh, you thought you were slick, huh? I knew you were gonna try some shit. Oh shit, he does a lot of damage. Okay. Ow. Okay, yeah, he does a lot of fucking damage. Uh, alright, I need to do that telekinetic blast. Okay, alright. Yeah, you need to stop that shit right now. Oh, got you, bitch. Finishing blow right in the gut. Oh, we got a new sword, and we got a trophy from it. Sweet, I'll take it. Very nice. Alright, so... Let us see what we got here. Okay, so we have a new steel sword, 82 to 100. Nice, not bad. Uh... It's actually a little bit better than what... It's actually better than what we have now. Okay. It's got three empty uh, room slots. Um, I actually like my sword right now, though. But we'll keep it. We'll keep it around. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Okay. So, trophies. Alright, so these all, all right, these are all this member. And a lot of these are experience boosters. Okay, I could do that. That works for me. Alright. So let me see if there's more out here. Oof. Knock, knock. Oh, 
Oh, we got new enemies here. Muckiner. Or Mutnixer. Whatever it is. Looks like a... Looks like a upgraded drown. Which, in that case, let me swap back to uh, Igni. How do you like your, your fishmen cooked? Excuse me, sir? Rude? No, you don't want to be in the water with fishmen. Oh, nice. He just uppercutted him right in the fin. Feel the burn. Nice. Okay, so it is still a drowner because we're getting drowner, drowner brain. Okay. All right, so let's check out the uh, the bestiary since this is going to be a monster lore uh, heavy stream. So let's see. Yeah, we also fought a wyvern for the last time. Um, see, are often mistaken for dragons, and though they are much smaller than their more famous can, do not breathe fire, they are likewise extremely dangerous monsters. And they also like to travel in packs. Uh, especially if you're, are these so-called royal wyverns, who are like their namesake monarchs, are exceptionally ornery and extremely dangerous. Are deadly. They're also, um... I think they were red-colored in the first game. Okay, so, uh, okay. The Ignis Fatuous, careful sir, a monster prowls the bog, blah, 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 blah. The monster hunting the peat bogs of Velen turned out to be an ancient foglet. These are exceptionally long-lived creatures. Some have even dwelt on this earth for longer than 200 years, growing stronger and stronger all the while. Blows dealt by foglets are such of an age, of such an age carries so much power blocking them is out of the question. These foglets possess the ability to move extremely quickly, and not even Yurden can slow them down. Furthermore, they can meld completely into the mist and suddenly rematerialize to strike from behind. Wearing heavy armor or making good use of the keen sign is highly recommended. This ancient foglet proved particularly adept in the art of forming illusions. Only professional monster slayers skilled with signs and swords could best such a foe. Luckily, Geralt fit that description perfectly. Yeah, we have a, all sorts of nasties that we can that we can talk about. So, and I'll and I'll, I've, I'm really cur I'm really interested in like more of like the European varieties of a lot of these creatures. Western. I mean, honestly, I don't know what we have on this end in the U.S. that's really original that isn't taken from something else. Uh, I think the only thing that I can say is from here is most likely the Native American legend of the uh, Wendigo. I'm sure there's probably a few more, but uh, and I might do some research on that too to see what actually is native to out here and uh, and see. So. Let's trudge back through the swamp and go get our and go get our feet. Let's see how much he's gonna pay. I should I probably could have haggled it, but I was like, eh. The haggling system's interesting here. Because if you go lower, like one guy I went lower to be, you know, more, you know, like you would think, you know, like, you know, I'll go a little bit lower so that it, you know, it falls in the realm, but it, it, their annoyance meter went up, and I was like. Okay. Uh, Any titans? Monsters dead. Fogs dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. 
Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Thank you much. 136? Not bad. Fair enough. That's a that's a fair that's a fair uh a fair wage for the day. So that works. Alright, uh <clears throat> So where to next? Where do the quests take us? Uh, can't do any more Witcher ones because most of these are higher levels. The treasure quest, um... See, this one lies to you. This first one up here, it's like a level 4. But the monster that's attached to this one is like a level 19. So they trick you. So if anybody's playing this game for the first time, if you're playing it like I am, first go around... Uh, always watch for what level the monster is because especially in this zone it's like level 10 to like level 19 stuff and it's spread all over the place uh, so let's see we've got other witcher ones for that secondary quest uh, Okay, we got, um... Hmm. Okay, that's a Novigrad, so we're not quite there yet. Um... So let's actually check this one out. And see. Let's see where these quests take us and get us out of this nasty, stinky, fart filled swamp. Come on, Roach. Hey, yeah. Uh. Hey, yeah. Uh. All right, let's get out of here. Drowners, I'm not gonna kill y'all all day. I gotta leave some of y'all for later. Move it. Oh, hi guys. Oh, am I? Am I now? Bye, bitch. I'm gonna take all y'all shit. Knock, knock. Locked. There no way to get in? Probably not. Well, that's a shame. I wanted to loot their house. Fine, I guess we won't. I said, we'll probably go back and, fi and fight some of the, uh, the stuff that we passed up earlier. Like, there was a couple of monster dens that we passed up earlier. With, like, some of them little goblin kids. The Neckers. So we might, uh, we might venture out and try our luck at that again. Because the first time, they overwhelmed me with their numbers. But I was probably, like, four or five levels lower than what I am now. So... Also, are there any, are there any, um, places of interest over here? Actually, yeah, there's, uh, let's see. Actually, there's one back there we can go, since we're not too far behind it. 
can actually go we can actually go peek. There might be something there might be something lootable or who knows. So let's see, shall we? Find all the good shit. Uh who's out here? Take it easy. Ah, uh, it's wolves. Oh, I don't like that. What? Oh, what is... Wait, what is that? Oh, shit, that's a wog. I don't know what that is over there. I don't like it. It looks like a... Uh... It reminds me of the Spriggs from uh... Elder Scrolls. If you encountered a sprig at an early level, you were fucked. Okay. I'll take all the meat. Let's see, I do not know what that thing is, but I just want to kind of... I'm terrified, so therefore, I'm going to save. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, a lesion. Okay. Oh, God. I don't like that. Okay, yeah. Nope. Nope. We're out. Yeah, I'm not doing a... I am not doing any damage to that. Nope. 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 I will see you next time when I'm about, like, eight or nine levels above it. Oh, Fuck me sideways. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just an RPG player testing my limits. Might give up. Oh shit. Geralt? Oh fuck that was close. Hey, but we found uh okay. Oh, we found a loot chest. Okay, I'll take it. Not often do you escape doom and find a treasure a treasure chest looming about. I'll take it. Ah, place of power. Very nice. That'll give us another skill point we can use. I will take it. Oh, shit. Okay, come on. Come on, we are gonna Skyrim this shit. We're just gonna parkour right up this ledge. Yes. Mm, magic. A place of power. Ooh. New silver sword? I'll take it. Um... 147 to 179. It's got a 3% critical hit chance. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Assassin Pants. Uh, wow. 107, 187 boost to my vitality. Okay. Alright. How does it look? Uh, it's got two additional rune slots on it. Mm. Uh, I don't. Uh, I like everything to match, even though I'm wearing purple gloves. But um. I'll hang on to him, though. We'll hang on to him. Uh, let's see, 55. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and use that up. I know I normally don't use that. I should have used the smaller one, but oh well. It is what it is. It'll be all right. Okay. Um... Alright, 
cool. So we got an ability point. So let's see. Um, strong attack. All right, my light, my my fast attack is at maxed. So. See, uh, increases the chance of landing a fast attack critical by 2% and fast attack critical hit damage by 15%. Hmm, okay. Alright, you color me intrigued. Okay. So, let's see. All right, so eating food regenerates. Okay, and that's regeneration. Adrenaline regeneration by 5% using signs generates ability points. Okay, so this unlocks at 22. That unlocks at 15. That unlocks at 16. 28. Okay. All right. I don't know if I honestly want to go back this way because that might be where that other creature is. So I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't know. But there's a lot of, okay, so my, okay, so all of this is heading this way. So I can actually go, so we're gonna, we'll mark this one next as our next waypoint. And then we'll slowly make our way to our quest marker. Yeah, the Leshen, I'm... I've heard the name, but I don't know much about him. But it kind of reminds me, um... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Sorry, my bad. Relax, chill out, man. By now, you've already regenerated the two hits that I put on you and got that chip off. You're fine. Okay, yeah, he was right outside this other quest, this other quest area. Yeah, we had a we had a quest over here with like four or five wraiths, and uh, they were not they were not friendly of any of any sort. Very mean old bitch. Very stormy and gloomy. Monster nest. All right, let's do it. Good. You little shits. Little goblin fuckers. Dave Dawn has like a. A variation like this, but they're basically zombie kids. But they're they they have the same kind of behaviors. They attack in groups and they're extremely fucking quick. I forget what they called them though. Neckers surface here. Dig their way out. Goodbye. What kind of loot that we got? A little bit of everything. Nice. The storm, damn it. Yeah, this is kind of like the storm we had last night that woke me up. Another monster nest. Okay. We got the whole clan out here. Ow, sir. Or not, sir. Lad. You might want to calm down. Oh, 
a Necker Warrior. Okay. We got upgrades. Oh, you were a little meaty, that one. Thank you. Give me all y'all's loot. Okay, sword needs to be repaired. Do I still have... Okay, I still have a few. Let's see, that's 87. That's 65. We'll round that off and we'll be okay with that. That'll be good. Okay. Um... Five percent bonus gold. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. That'll be that'll be fine for now because I already have the uh... all the other ones. I have I get I have the experience booster on there, but that'll be fine for now. That'll work. That'll do. Let me in. in here. That was a letdown. Alright. Do I have another? Uh, yes, we do. We've got one right here. Just to our left. We got a monster nest. We got treasure. What do we got? I'm ready to fight. Yep, we got another monster nest. And, yeah. Damn, did we find like y'all's whole damn family out here? Ow. Switch back to Igni, because that's actually my favorite sign to use. Block him? Okay, yeah, I can block him a little bit. Alright, that's fine. Lay down. Ah! You thought you were gonna slip underneath the, uh, slip in the ground, huh? A hole is not a hole in the end. Necker's surface here. Dig their way out. Sweet. All right. So where to next? Got one right here. We're just gonna kind of slowly work our way around all these little spots. The more loot and stuff we get, the better. Cause uh, Daddy Girl needs some upgrades.
Come on. There's only two of y'all out here? This is like the, br the, the, the brothers that got left at home. Oh, shit. Nope, there's the rest of them. It's like the older and the younger brother that's getting left at home on Friday night and the parents are like, all right, y'all behave. We're leaving y'all here by yourselves because we don't want to pay for a babysitter. And we basically got a um, we basically got the diagram to make the sword that we just got. So that's okay. So let's see. That critical hit damage bonus is nice. I don't really want to try because I'm not gonna get a uh, I'm not gonna get a rune for that at fifty percent. Like that's pretty nice like so I'm gonna actually stay with what I've got right now um, I'm gonna do the same thing with the silver sword although the damage is better but the perks of what I have on this one are actually pretty nice and I get a 20% experience from monsters you can't go bad with 20% Go ahead. I'm just gonna leave these on for right now. If I could, I wonder if there's an option to dye uh, clothes in this game. Just out of curiosity, but we'll see. All right. Here I was like, get me out of this storm, give me some cocoa, and a warm bed, and I'm solid. Lady dies in the middle of a field, and all you can find on her is dried fish. Ugh. But that smells just vile. Hi everybody, nice to see y'all. That kind of just looks like a little refugee camp. Huh? People probably just displaced from the war and they're just kind of like, you know what, we're just going to find any little shop, any little spot that we can to, to set up in. God bless you. Alrighty. Alright. Locked. Okay. Oh, well, let me visit around town. Y'all got any, uh... Rotting flesh. Ew. We have a quest. Going north, master. Why do you ask? Uh, I thought you could see if anything's happened to our men. They've been gone a while. What do you need? Merchant caravan came through not long past. 
hired some of our boys to guide him to the bridge. They were due back yesterday. Fine. Keep my eyes open. My brother Tomil led him. Talk to him when you find them. Clever man. Not like the rest of them, eh? We'll come back to you in just a minute. It's like y'all, re they really just found this place like, we just need like some place to shelter. Fair enough. The soothsayers are always like an old man with like a giant beard. Each other. These Not Gandalf personal, looking fuckers. Right? Though I've seen ye many times. I have a gift. I see the future. Yours as well. But not for free, I guess. I don't ask much. If you've a bite to eat. Here. Thank ye. A fine offering. Well worth a foretelling. <sighs> All right. Let's hear it. I see a white wolf. He looks on as the great viper bites and devours the silver lily. He wants to spring. He wants to fight. But the serpent is quicker. The lily must perish. That's not the future. Lived through that. And you probably heard about it in some ballad. My third eye grows foggier the older I become. But if you bought me some dragon's root... Rare plant. Rare indeed. But it did once grow in a cave southeast of here. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Alright, let's go hunting for some, uh... For some roots. It just makes me think back to that, um... If anybody, uh, who's familiar with, the uh, God of War 2018, uh... It's a deleted line, but they do the voice. But they do the voice work where um, Freya asks Kratos to go pick her some flowers um, or herbs. I forget one or the other in the garden. And one of the deleted lines is like, I'm "Picking flowers, I'm the fucking god of war." And I imagine that's exactly what uh, what Geralt would probably. Uh, Geralt wasn't a witcher. That's probably like the exact same response. Because like, really. I'm an errand boy now, picking flowers and shit. I wish that would have made it into the game. I would have laughed my ass off if that would have made it into God of War 2018. Which I'm really excited for that one, too. That's another game that I'm really looking forward to. But, of course, got to wait till I get a PS5 to play that one. I might go back at some point and... Play it through it again on the channel because I did start playing it through it uh, a couple of years ago before the hurricanes sidelined me for months. Uh, I was in the middle of playing it and then I made Twitch affiliate and so I swapped off that game to play uh, Final Fantasy 7 for my stream uh, celebration thing. Uh, but I haven't picked it up picked up on it in a while. But since Ragnarok's on its way out. It might be at some point in time to go back and do a nice, fun, chill playthrough of it. Anybody home? Which I'm sure there's probably something lurking down here because no, no quest is just like, Oh, just go grab this herb and bring it back to me and you'll get your payment. No, it's never been that easy. Okay. I don't know what's down here. Is nasty's about. Everybody grab your swords. Ghouls. Uh 
I need, uh... Which one do I need for this? Um... Uh, Necrophage? Yeah, necrophage oil is what I need. cave. Oof. What did the horses ever do to y'all? Axe head. Ow. Nose wants to itch. Ah, I see you. Oh, that's just monster parts. Okay, so... Where's the root that I need? Dragon's root. I wonder if it can really help the old man see the future. Would you guys... Okay, here's a question for chat. If you guys could, would you rather see the future? Or, like I said, if it was a choice between, let's say, see the future or undo a mistake of the past, what would you guys rather? Uh, I gotta say, for me, I would rather undo a mistake than see the future. Um... Even if it was just one small aspect of it, I'll just be like, as tempting as it would be, I would rather undo a mistake. But then I can always bring you another dragon through later. Then I can ask you what's the winning numbers for a bet that I'm placing later on. Then you could be like, okay. Bring the old man his herbs and just probably watch him get high in front of us while he's just like, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot you asked me a question. visions long since I were a tyke my mother took me to the village witch once I fell into a cauldron full of some magic brew mm -hmm. seriously if I'm to tell it serious twere as a youth that I got hit in the back of my head with a rock started seeing more than others damn Got what you asked for. Thank you. Now I need a moment. Sure, go ahead. Go get high in your cabin while I stand out here in the rain. I see a wolf striving forward towards a solitary tower midst a blizzard. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As do others say, 
So shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood of Hen Iker of a planted seed. If means prophecy. Leave me be. Go. Go now. Okay. Every time when I start streaming. See that my nose wants to my nose wants to itch. Or my beard itches or something like that. Streamer problems. Every time. Never fails. Won't be bothering me all day long. The second I start streaming. Also, let me call my horse. It's not GTA where we just run around and we get the cardio exercise upgrade. No, we shit. We just running around here in our boots. Wonder what happened. Oh yeah. This might be a level. Of, this might be some levels above us. Oh, that's on level 23. Uh, I mean, we can examine it, but I don't I don't know if I want to go any further than that. Ow. We'll just kind of examine Somebody everything and see. Somebody was bound. Rope was cut quickly with a dull blade. Someone was running. Fast. Panicked. Prints are deep. And suddenly, someone walked through the spilled wine. Well, shit. leave that quest for another day. I am far too under level to even undertake that, but at least we got the quest started. So, not today, Satan. Not today. I wonder if we track this quest, will it actually show where... Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do these, we'll do this quest, and then we might go ahead and do the story quest after that. And we'll just kind of, uh... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Coming through. Roach, you're a horse. You should, you should be able to jump over these small obstacles. Bandit camp. Ow! You son of a bitch! Sir? 
My ass is yours? Uh, no, don't think so. Pop goes the weasel. Alright. Oh, come on, Geralt. Come on, there we go. Why'd you stop shooting, man? Ooh. Ow, sorry. Thank you. We got goodies. And we got alcohol. Not a bad take. Although the... The gloves that we got are like giant metal mittens. So I might just break those down the next time we're in a shop somewhere. Thank you. Oh, somebody's still alive. Sorry, buddy. I gotta put you down, you rabbit. So where's the quest all the way? Ooh. Wait. Damn, that's way down there. Okay, we are going to swap that off of that one. Uh, let's see. Let's see if these guys are closer. Some little fist fights that we can do. Okay, there's one here, and okay, all right, cool. So there's uh, two of these guys that are in places that we could actually fast travel to. Uh, all right, current position. Okay. And let's see here. All right, we're gonna go check out these areas, and then we'll move on to the uh, we'll move on to this little part of it real quick. Roach. Thank you, sir. But yeah, how are you guys doing tonight? I hope y'all are doing good, and y'all got good food and. Hope y'all are enjoying the stream. Thank y'all for everybody who's popped in. I appreciate y'all. I said, I know uh, my, my streams have been kind of going back and forth uh, with the uh, the random days, but it's gonna it's gonna even out uh, pretty soon. Hey there. Come on. the shit glowing in here. Take anything? it easy. Uh, anything to loot in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. What is all this? I guess that's coals. Let's go. Here. Oh. 
faster. Tracks lead to the cave. Oh. Nope, I don't want to do that now. Let's go. But at least we know where that is. <laughs> Not trying to pick up on that quest. Go, go. Come on, Roach. Nope, he's not gonna... Nope, we're g we might have to parkour up this one. <laughs> I never heard Geralt make that note. Ah! You're fine. You're fine, Geralt. Relax. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Okay, that's not gonna work. Am I gonna have to go around them? Uh, yeah, I might have to go around a little bit. Ah, uh, wait, no, that's where the, that's where that actual quest is. Okay. Okay, so let me take that off right now. And yeah. There's a lot of stuff up here that I actually we can kind of make our way back towards. So let's see. Let's do some exploring in the countryside, shall we? I just want to kind of get some of these little side quests out of the way and places of interest done so that we can kind of have, we can get some more experience in so that we don't have to I won't have to do any kind of level grinding or anything like that, either off stream or during stream. So, I'm trying to kind of get some of these as we go along. Geralt out here actually fist fighting a wolf. Damn, he just kicked that. He just kicked the wall in the face. Hidden treasure. Hi, boys. Yeah, I, you should have just been like, you know what, man? I give up. You done fucked my hand up. You done fucked up my good fat pan. Alright. You stupid get going, keeping the treasure out for all to see like that. 
We won't keep it for very long. What, you think we're the only bandits around? Well, knowing what a fool you are, perhaps you do, so let me tell you, we ain't. So be a good little dunce and hide it somewhere where only you and me will know how to find it. Otherwise, I'll tan your arse till it's red as a watermelon. Kinky. Wait, so where is it then? Wait, did it become a... Uh... So we're gonna go visit the Baron again in the in the woods. We'll we'll leave the fist fighting because that's actually a, a good little ways out. So we'll do the uh, we'll go back to the the swamp and meet up with the Baron and see if we can find a way to uh, get him and his wife um, freed up. And hopefully the audio won't glitch out so you guys can actually hear the dialogue this time. Which so far the game doesn't seem to be. I haven't had very many issues with this game. Um, I've only had like a couple of little glitches here and there that's happened like the first after the first stream at the end of the first stream I couldn't swim underwater for some reason. But uh, it was an easy fix. So they said you just, Google said just reload it, or not Google, Reddit. And then uh, last time, the music and the audio cut out a little bit, and it was kind of so I I was kind of narrating some of the lines. But then the, the witches would kind of cut in and out, but it was weird. I don't know if it's because it's just the digital version of The Witcher Three, or maybe that's just a common thing. I'm not sure, but. As long as it's not uh, game breaking, we'll be fine. Also, let me make a uh, manual save right quick. I don't quite trust this game's checkpoint system. It's not as uh, reliable as some of the newer games out there, but it's fine. It hasn't been too bad. I haven't like you know died and lost a, a ton of progress, but I'm trying to remember to kind of keep that in the back, in the front of my mind. Like every now and then, make a save, just in case, because this is an RPG still. It's not. Shut up, alarm. Jeez, I hate these. I don't. It's, this one thing with an iPhone, whoever at Apple, I don't need a bedtime it's reminder. Coming. I will go to bed when I'm ready to go to bed. I have no sleep schedule. I never did. Uh, I'm a night owl. I go. To, I go to sleep whenever I'm just like, okay, it's not. It's like it's. It's about time for me to lay down. It's. It's getting late. But I, I don't go to bed at a certain time because I'm. My second win usually kicks in right about this time. Ooh, big boy.
What is this? Need a key. Ah. I found the lock, but where is the key? Okay, so that's gonna be for I'm that's either gonna be for a quest or I'm just gonna happen to randomly find the key somewhere in the world and just be like, oh, I wonder where this could go. Likely not to be dropped anywhere in the suit in the uh, in the cave, that's for sure. Alright. Get out of here! Get out of here, bunny! through the game you get all these little kind of scenes where the, a lot of this environmental storytelling goes is going on in the war. Uh, that's one thing that I loved about Ghost of Tsushima um, was you had the Mongols invading uh, Tsushima Island. There was all kinds of those little scenes where you would find like a village burned down or you see like a little massacre or just uh, merchants or you know people just you know on the side of the road and you just be like damn what the hell happened out here? Chill out, sir. Oh, ow, sir. Get him in the butt. There we go. Give me that bear meat. I wonder what bear would actually taste like. I would imagine it's probably probably tough. Can't imagine bear would be something that would honestly be good to eat. And went mad, lunged at each other, murdering all neighbors or young'uns. It's the spirit of the forest, taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Geralt! Good you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canting. Should give him a taste of the whip to bring him in line, cuz... My lord, tis what they... they said too, about the mare, meaning... That is the forest's dark ghost who claimed so the the w w w witch hunters passed through just now heading for the village in the swamp s s some lass was leading him asking after her mother lass we must go there at once get out gotta prepare prepare now Will you shine your boots or trim your nails? Ah, do what you will. I shall take my men and go. Meet you at the Crone's village. Fall in with the swamp to cross and those cursed All right. crowns. I have no idea what to expect in this uh, encounter. So, um... All right, so first off, actually, let me see if there's anything I can brew up in alchemy real quick. 
If I can remember where the shit's at. Thank you. Uh, contains silver splinters that temporarily prevent monsters from transforming. Ooh, that's not, that's kind of cool. Uh, shrapnel damage to foes. Destroys monster nests. Craft you. Craft you. Grave hag. Werewolf. Increases attack power, extended duration. Ooh, very sexy. Foe slain accelerates vitality regeneration for the duration of the battle. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, running, sprinting, and jumping outside of combat does not use stamina. For 1800 seconds? Nice. Okay. Fair. Alright. Um... Let's see. Okay, so we are going to take a Tawny. Uh, we're going to take Swallow, Giggity. And... Let's see. Um... Can't do that now. The current toxicity, 40 of... Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so... I don't know what to... I don't know what to... Ten percent attack power. Okay, so we're, we'll apply that here. We'll see what... Uh, see what we do. Uh -huh. Plowing swamp. Pox ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Kranz, fuck me. What will these high seeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that girl. Always. <laughs> Oh, uh, you'll see, you'll see, Baron, whenever we get in here. You'll see. Come on, keep up. Come on. Time is money. Let's go. Oh, bloody hell. What are y'all doing now? Don't tell me y'all gotta wait for me. Or y'all gotta, like... Oh, oh, great. It's one of those things they have to follow you for... Okay, fair enough. God damn it. I gotta, I gotta sneeze right on the edge of my nose. Everybody sit back. 
I don't see all you fuckers with silver swords. Oh. I hate it when I gotta sneeze and I can't. I haven't seen that many all at once in a while. We shouldn't have caught well, he got wrecked. Who's in charge? You sound high or drunk, or both. Who's in charge? Hey! Rude? Oh, and shit, there's rock fiends out here. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. And a water hag. Come on, get you some. I'm not gonna do all the work. Come on, you can do it. Damn. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Cool. He's alive. All right. Come on. Shake it off, man. Shake it off. Oh, shit. Come on, y'all. Let's do this. Let's clean house. Thank you. Witcher, change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear for the eternal Oh, that's a, uh, that's the Baron's daughter. Nice. Won't need to protect you from me. Tamar, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Uh, Dad, Stay you might. Away from me. I've come for Mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Got well, that new purple Mountain Dew. Let's give this a try. Take her home. Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. Bad. The right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. Excuse me? Stop arguing. It's stupid. We need to find Anna. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! I like the sword. The haircut's gonna get you killed. <laughs> Not the steel. Don't. Am I 
beer's gotten a lot longer. Uh-oh. Is that mom? Oh, shit. Why is he not surprised? Did he know what she was? What the fuck? Mother? Is... Is that her? We got a whole welcoming party in here. You're not making none of this fine ass into a broth. I'm sorry. Get back because uh, that's a big boy. Got him. What was that? Looked a fiend to me. Well, I mean, yeah, it says fiend, but what? Us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. And those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Nope. Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What? What's wrong with her? Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crones must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? 
Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? A boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. Nice. Witcher. Scramble before I lose my patience. All right. A lot of monster bodies in here, so let's grab our loot real quick before we go running off in the woods. I didn't know for this job. Okay. First, real quick, we need to fix our, uh... Ooh, 35%. Yeah, we need to pump that up a little bit. Uh, drop that. Drop that. Okay. Alright. So let's see. Alright. Alright. Fiends. What is this thing? Relics. I regret to inform your grace that your grace's son fell while hunting a fiend. He died on the spot along with the squire, his guard, his beaters, his peasant entourage, and his hordes. Fiends are walking mountains of muscle capped with horn, tooth-filled heads like their rarer cousins, the Bumba Vetches. Uh, they live in thick forests, swamps, and bogs. When possible, they avoid humans, but when not possible, they kill them in without much difficulty. It's pretty gnarly looking. Bumba vec Bumbuk Vetches. Bumbuk Vetches. Say it with me now. Bumbuk Vetch. And I'm sure there's probably a it's probably pronounced differently. I'm gonna have to get on a maybe maybe uh one of the Witcher sites has like a has like a pronunciation thing, kinda like Google Translate. Donnie! Wake up, buddy. Ow. Okay, I killed... I killed so many of you guys already. It should be like, okay, look, he killed Joe. Like, we need to back off and leave this guy alone. my permission to die. Alright, now we gotta find Johnny's uh, little hobbit house out here. They must be. I think Johnny was under attack here. Ow. Not nice.
Johnny. Johnny. Not here. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here. Fleeing something. We're coming, Johnny. We're coming in, we're coming. My eyes are starting to burn a little bit. Everybody meet Good Johnny. You near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side. I told him off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. We would have been the doldrums out here without him. She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. So you saw what happened to Gran. By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. I went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark in her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. I barely had time to blink before the crones tossed in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair, called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor, went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Why'd the weaver need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they hmm. weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. Take a look under the door. I look like a fool to you. No, <laughs> you do look like the inquisitive type, though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. Fair play. Stay in the chest until the crown's left. Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not a peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Blue West piped up first. Naughty boy! Oh, naughty! Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes! Then the Wispet says, Run, boy! Run! Before your legs rot off! They all laughed, and I legged it! You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do. But I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide. Get my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Farewell, Johnny. All right, now we got to go back to the cellar, which the last time we were in the cellar looked like a medieval sex dungeon. Chains and whips and shit.
All right, y'all. Y'all stay here. I'm gonna go dip in the cellar and see if I can find out how to uncure this bitch. Uncurse it, not uncure. Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother, took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, with no time to lose, come. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. Since I got back up here, I might as well use them, but let me go in first. To the depths of hell. Got it. It's like a it's like a dead by daylight level. That looks like a fiend skull right there. The eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the Hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. This risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at these dolls. See doll with the red bit with the red bead, doll with the bird feathers, doll with the violet holly hollyhock bloom, doll with the human ear. I think we can cancel out it's not the ear. Violet hollyhock bloom is my next thought because it's a flower. Uh, bird feather, I don't know. Red bead, I have no idea. Hmm. What do you guys think? I'm inclined to pick the violet one, but that's just... That might be the obvious choice, and it's probably the wrong choice, but I don't know. It's not the human ear. I don't know about the red bead or the bird feathers. Hmm. Hmm. If I had played if I had played all these quests, I probably would have remembered the clue. Um 
Like, if I had played this part recently, I would have probably remembered if there was any... I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to pick the violet and see what happens. It might be the most... It might be too obvious, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Because uh, I'll say, it's not the human... I don't think it's a human... I don't think it's the human ear. Red bead. Red bead bird feathers. So it's one of these three. So by process of elimination, we've taken that ear. Bird feathers, I don't think it's a bird feather. So it's either got to be red bee. It could be red bee. And so it's probably between one and three. Hmm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go with my. I'm gonna go with my initial choice. I'm gonna trust my gut. We'll go with the violet. We'll see what happens. Mm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. You believe this to be the doll? Okay. So okay. So it's, I can examine the other ones. Okay. Uh, might very well be, but I can't be sure. Should look at the others. Okay, so I thought it was like once I picked it up, I was gonna lock it in. So okay, that's good. Uh, let me see what the, what he says about the red bead. Mm -hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg. This cannot be the one. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll look at the others. See what he says about the bird feathers. I know it's not the ear. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. And I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. Well, that might seem obvious. But what if it's a ruse, and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? Doubtful. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A vi you believe this to be the doll? I'm sure it is. Taking it. Quick, outside! Now let's see what happens. Mom, you're back. Okay, nice. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy. I'm dying. She's not well. Raven doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. Damn. Well, what's she talking about, Witcher? Mm. The crones deceived us. Their curse is a death sentence. No way to lift it, at least not in a way that would let Anna live. We broke their spell temporarily, partly. Now it's got to run its course. What? What does that mean? She's dying. It's good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mom. 
mother. Tammy, do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please, remember me like that. I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. Damn. None of this was yours. I know. Which makes it no easier to bear. The pain will pass in time. I'd like to believe that. I would. You may have a moment with her. Then you must marry her. Very well. Leave me alone! Okay, fair enough. Let's give her a moment. Alright, so... Let's head back and we will collect our pay for this job. Not at all what I expected to happen, but that's the one, but that's the thing with these uh with these games is that not every story in here has a happy ending. Um but in the uh, I think in these types of games that's that's what it calls for not every you know not every curse can be lifted not every spell undone not everybody saved you know um it has it has a lot of the 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 themes of a traditional hero story where you know it tries to save everybody but can't you know there's only so much you can do not everybody can be saved so um, Spot a cider for you. Like to take a look. Which it's a very grounded approach. It's not you know so fantastic where it's like okay. It, um, you know he saves the village and everybody's you know good to go and all that kind of stuff. Shit! I did not mean to sell that. God damn it! Ah, fuck. I can build that. Why am I don't, I'm not? Why am I freaking out? I can build that sword now. I hate that the cursor moved down. It should should have moved down. I mean, it should move down, not up. That's annoying. Okay. Um. Ugh, who would eat an onion? Okay. Farewell. Alright. Now we're gonna run in here and we are gonna collect our pay. We're also gonna take a quick smith uh quick blacksmith trip and uh see if we can upgrade anything. Um I really, I, I wish that I could upgrade my, uh, my combat jacket, but I don't have what I need for that part. Witcher wanted, uh, Witcher wanted to root out and exterminate the monsters rampaging around these parts. During the time it takes to complete the contract, said Witcher will have the right to room and board in the Elderman's hut, cost deducted from final pay. Message from the Elderman of Lindenvale. Okay.
How can I help you? Interesting lilt in your voice. You originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more. Sent me out there into the world, bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out and I landed here. So she's a ma nice. What are you selling? What's good? What it do? All right. Um. You know, I could use some new pants. So, yeah, why not? We'll, uh, grab some new pants. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Also got junk I can sell, too. Oh, not much. Pure silver. I still think that silver should go more than 20 crowns, though. The silver... 20 crowns seems pretty, uh... Pretty light. But, I don't know. Let's see. Alright, um... So let's see, two percent, two percent, two percent, two percent. It's got slightly better armor rating, but the perks are actually a little bit better. So I'm gonna leave that right there. Okay, cool. No, not Gwent. Ah, crap. Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Hang on, let me out of here. I don't want to... I don't want to... I, I need to sit down one day and I just need to play Gwent so I can actually figure out how it actually works. How may I assist you? Everybody who's played Witcher has told me, like, if I start playing Gwent, I'm never going to want to stop. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Like, I have a buddy, that's all he does whenever he does turn on The Witcher 3. He just goes to, like, the nearest place and, like, just starts, like, it's like let me just, uh, I'm just gonna sit here and just play Gwent for hours on end. Ooh. Let's see. Attack power, resist, ooh. Yeah, that's, uh, chance to find additional herbs. That attack power bonus is actually pretty sexy, I'm not going to lie. Mm. But that 10% critical hit chance... Uh, I'm going to kind of keep... I'm going to keep that there um, for now. Um, although that's temp it's It's tempting. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so... Uh... I can't, I mean, I can make it, but I can't... Well, I can almost level it. I'm... Damn, I'm only six experience away from... Shit. Uh... 
See, the warrior's leather jacket is what I really want, but I, can, I don't Let's see. Calmoran armor. I wonder if uh, I probably be able. I might be able to find that somewhere, unless I just visit Calmoran somewhere. Uh, nope, don't want that. Trousers. I just made. I just bought some of those. Wow, three hundred and fifty vitality. Holy shit. Girl, hmm. All right, repair. There we go. Uh, wait, why do I have Axion here? That's the wrong, um, that's the wrong one. All right, dismantle. Oh, not enough coin. Shit. You imperial bastard. Can I sell anything else out of here? Probably not. Although I could, um... Oh yeah, I can sell some of these off. Uh, I don't need, honestly, three of these. Uh, see, we're gonna keep the bonus XP. Let's see, 36, 36... 30. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So long. Give me my new pants. All right, so let's see. Okay. So, let's see. Ard's the one I think I was trying. I needed to put on here. Not a uh, not Axie. How may I assist you? I don't know. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. All right. Um. Okay, so I could actually okay, so I could actually craft these. Um, okay. Nice. Not enough coin. I need one eighty three for those. All right, fine, fair. Sell one of each of those, that'll be enough. So long. All right.
Nice. Very cool. Himself, plain enough to see. Himself? Where did you boys help him? Fuck you take me for? A murderer? He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Yeah. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. Pam, Pam, Pam. Damn. Stinks of guardian corpse to me. Shit. Ooh. Hey. All right, let's go loot our uh our storage chest right fast and then uh i think i might actually call it because my eyes are starting to really burn uh so like i said i think it's just because i didn't sleep well last night like i said i got, I got woke up really early in the morning by the thunder uh out here and it threw my sleep off and then i just never really uh like i went back to sleep but i didn't really sleep sleep uh, might keep this sword out, but that's a silver sword too. Um, so let's see, 112 to 138, 167, 205. Uh, so let's see, our chance to poison. I'm gonna keep that around, but I'm not gonna equip it just yet. They do have some really cool designs, though, for uh, for swords. Let's see. Armor piercing, bleed, poison, burning, adrenaline, stagger, stun, sign, sign. Okay. Leave that there. We're good. Oh, shit. Geralt, chill out. Alright, let's see if we got, we got maybe one, we got time for maybe like a smaller quest or two where we can, uh, Okay, so Triss is in uh, Novigrad. We did we did pop through there. Uh, 
Let's see. Look for a unique card information about other players in the Baron's office. Scratching whose ass? Excuse me? Not kink shaming, but just saying. You got a new Gwent card. If you want to examine it, open the game menu and open the Gwent pack. Uh, when all I got on is played by Lady Luck. Since I'm at that point. Okay. So I got a new Gwent card, so I can. I'll eventually start building a deck for that. Oh, but we got an up we got an upgrade point for that. Nice, and we leveled up. Sweet. All right. Should pour more points into some of these other abilities that I can start using. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, this is cool. When vitality reaches zero, adre adrenaline points will immediately be consumed to restore it. The amount restored is based on the number of adrenaline points used. If there is a small portion of vitality, will be restored. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Each defensive action generates adrenaline points, parries, counterattacks. That's actually not bad to have either, too. Since, especially since adrenaline points is part is what governs your 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 boost and damage. So, all right, let's see. Alright, see, so everything's like over in the upper 20s in here. So. Okay. Pretty much everything from here on out is like story stuff, but uh, I'm gonna save that for tomorrow's stream. Um. Since this was kind of late and like I said, my eyes are starting to burn, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave it here for now and we'll pick up with the main story uh more tomorrow and we'll get uh i might uh also do a little bit of offline leveling for this maybe before stream uh i'm not sure uh we'll see but uh thank you guys for hanging out tonight i appreciate y'all very much for hanging out everybody who's lurked and just kind of hung out i appreciate y'all um but uh, I hope to see y'all again tomorrow. Like I said, we're gonna keep doing, we're gonna keep going with the uh, the monster lore stuff, and we'll see what the, the main story has now that we've kind of completed this this quest line with the Baron and everything. Because this has actually been one of the longer quest lines that we've done in the game. Uh, this one's been going on for probably like the last three or four streams that we've been doing. Uh, this has been something that we've been working on. So. Um, we finally now have that one completely done. Very sad ending, too. Uh, I thought the earlier part of it 
whenever he had whenever you find his uh, his miscarried child and you have to uncurse them but uh yeah now it's I mean his daughter's still alive so I mean that's you know that's something but it's it is a pretty sad ending to the story but you know that's that's how some of these go but uh I hope y'all enjoyed it uh I had a lot of fun tonight just kind of hanging out and uh just kind of getting back into the flow of things with the uh with the game um we will pick like I said tomorrow we will pick back up with this one uh we will stream tomorrow it will be um it'll be probably in the bar ballpark between six and seven central time this weekend uh we're going to be doing some more assassin's creed unity uh and we're going to kind of bounce back and forth like i said between those so uh tomorrow will be witcher uh either uh saturday or sunday will be uh unity uh depending on how Ooh, excuse me um everything with scheduling with work and stuff goes so uh y'all have a good night y'all take care of yourselves uh look out for the ones who you care about and the ones who care for you get lots of water plenty of sleep and y'all stay safe out here and i will see y'all tomorrow evening and we will have some more fun so take care everybody y'all have a good night